The fourth question that we have is a pretty interesting and a very important problem. We have an acidic solution of copper 2 plus salt containing 0.4 grams of copper 2 plus ion which is electrolyzed till all the copper is deposited. Now electrolysis continued for 7 more minutes after this with volume of the system kept constant at 100 ml and current is equal to 1.2 amperes. We need to find out the total volume of the gases that NTP obtained during the whole process. So let us first consider the first electrolysis. In the first electrolysis when copper 2 plus ions were present, copper 2 plus ions undergo reduction at cathode and therefore the anode equation is at anode oxidation of water takes place. So water goes to oxygen gas with the oxidation number of uh, oxygen over here changes from minus 2 to 0 therefore this is oxidation. Now let us balance this reaction. We can balance the ox oxygen atoms by doing the to, uh, by taking a one more molecule of water therefore we add 4 H plus here and thus we have to add 4 electrons over here. For the cathode reaction we know that reduction of copper takes place therefore Cu2 plus plus 2 electrons goes to Cu. We know that when this in the first electrolysis the equivalence the gas being produced is oxygen. So we have to take care of this gas being produced and this is the only gas being produced. Therefore we can write that equivalence of oxygen produced is equal to equivalence of copper produced. Now equivalence of copper can be written very easily. Equivalence of copper produced is equal to 0 0.4 upon 63.6 this is the moles of copper produced into 2 which is the valency factor that is the number of electrons being accepted or given per molecule of copper that is 0 0.4 upon 63.6 into 2 that is the valency factor. This is equal to the equivalence of O2 produced which comes out to be 12.58 into 10 h to minus 3. So let us uh, record it uh, here. Equivalence of O2 produced is equal to 12.58 into 10 h to minus 3. Now let us look at the second part of the electrolysis. Now after all the copper has been deposited in the second electrolysis this is an important part at the cathode and at the anode at both the electrodes oxidation of water and reduction of water will take place because there is no other reagent. At anode we have the same equation that is 2 H2O going to O2 plus 4 H plus plus 4 electron. Now at the cathode reduction of water takes place from H2O to H2 that is hydrogen gas is produced in which the oxidation number of hydrogen reduces from 1 to 0. Therefore on balancing this we get plus 2 times OH minus and we have 2 H2O plus 2 electrons over here. So this is the reaction at anode uh, at the cathode which occurs where the water is being reduced from uh, water to hydrogen and gas and the oxidation in the anode takes place from water to oxygen gas. So the two gases being produced over here are oxygen and hydrogen. So we need to take care of these two. Now let us find out the equivalence of these gases which are being produced. We know that electricity is being passed for 7 minutes through the solution. Now we know that the number of equivalents produced can be written as I into T upon 96,500. This is the number of equivalents produced of any substance. So this is equal to 1.2 into 7 into 60 upon 96,500. This comes out to be equal to 5.22 into 10 ratio minus 3. So we now have the equivalence of O2 and H2 both produced will be 5.22 into 10 ratio minus 3. Now O2 was also produced in the first electrolysis. Therefore we can write that equivalence of O2 total produced this will be 12.58 plus 5.22 into 10 raise to minus 3 that is 17.8 into 10 raise to minus 3. Now for equivalence of hydrogen this will be equal to 5.22 into 10 raise to minus 3. Now we have the equivalence of the respective gases being produced. We need to find out the total volume of the gases which is produced at NTP. Now at NTP we know that 1 mole of any gas 
occupies a volume of 22.4 liters at NTP. You should remember this also. Now, for oxygen, one mole is equal to four equivalents because the valency factor of oxygen is four. It was a four in both the reactions in the first electrolysis also. Therefore, four equivalents of oxygen gas at NTP will uh, occupy a volume of 22.4 liters and for hydrogen gas, this number is equal to 2. Therefore, two equivalents of hydrogen will occupy a volume of 22.4 liters. Now, the equivalents of O2 being 17.8 into 10 to the minus 3. Therefore, 17.8 upon 4 into 10 to the minus 3 into 22.4. This will be the volume occupied by the oxygen atoms. This comes out to be equal to 99.68 ml. And for hydrogen, this will be 5.22 into 10 to the minus 3 upon 2 into 22.4. This comes out to be equal to 58.46 uh, ml. So, the total volume of gases produced comes out to be equal to this plus this, that is equal to 158.14 ml. So, final answer for the total volume of the gases produced comes out to be 158.14. 1,4 ml. So, the important thing you learned from this question was that how to write the equations for oxidation and reduction of uh, water.